Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609. I'm near Kingsland, Texas on Ranch Road 2900. And they had a bridge that was washed out here uh, a few weeks ago. They had a hell of a flood here. And I'm just gonna go down here and kind of show you an update. You can see all this steel they've got tied ready to uh, put them somewhere and cover them with concrete. I mean, they got a lot of stuff ready to go and uh, we're gonna go down here there's a little park but as you can see all this steel that's gonna go in there and this is just part of it I guarantee you you can see those big cranes there that are doing something and they're working today yeah they're probably gonna be working seven days a week until they get it done because they guaranteed them they'd have it finished by uh, April so we'll see Got a lot of people here. I'm sure they're gonna come run me off, probably. Maybe this is the guy that's gonna do it right here. We'll find out. Da, 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 da. A lot of steel, a lot of steel, a lot of steel. How are you, sir? Y'all busy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful day, ain't it? Good day to tie steel, huh? Oh. But anyway, again, this is Ranch Road 2900 and the bridge was, one section was completely washed out. Buenos dias, or Buenos uh, Tardis, no? <laughs> Buenos, <laughs> I'll get it. Anyway, they're working and we're gonna get up here. I'm gonna go over to the side in this little park See if I can't get a better view and I'll zoom a little bit. But all these guys that you see here today are they're just tying steel. They will be used eventually somewhere out there on that bridge. How you doing this morning? Good. Beautiful day, ain't it? Yes, sir. Good day to be out working, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Making all that double time? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they get paid good on the weekends. I'm surprised nobody's challenged my right to be here yet, but nobody has. But this parking lot right here, this is all used for the working guys that are here. It's normally just a little park for the community. Uh, it's a private park, I think. But we're going right ahead, so knock on wood, nobody's told me to get the hell out of here yet. Anyway, they got a lot of stuff going on, man. I mean, there's a lot of steel going on. And they have done a lot of dirt work. I'm gonna go down here and see which would be better. I'll try, I'll zoom a little bit in a minute. Uh, once I find something worth zooming. But somehow or another, they get those big round things over there, those right in here they somehow they get them in the ground and then they put this let me zoom out again they put these inside of that and then pour concrete over it a lot of concrete a lot but uh, this is you can see all the dirt work well there's, i don't know what this is for here but they've got all their equipment down here and i don't want to get too in the way here but let me zoom a little bit you can see that huge crane there and I uh, got a lot of expensive equipment for sure uh, let me go around this way I'm gonna take go one step too far here pretty soon somebody's gonna come out and eat a circle around my butt and watch it fall out on the ground but we're gonna get down here a little bit because what they do Somehow they drive these pylons in the ground. You see that one right ahead of me here? Maybe you can see it. Uh, yeah, you can. That, see that right there? He, he, that thing, he's gonna, they'll, they'll put those way down in the, in the uh, surface of the soil under the water, of course, and then they'll pump the water out, put in the steel and fill it with concrete, and how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. You hear that? That's a pilot. He, he's driving something on the ground. Let me zoom out a little bit. 
Now, but you can see how big these things are. This is one of them right here. This is how big round they are. I'd say they're about mm, five feet in diameter. And those will be driven, you know, put in the ground somehow out there. And then that steel goes inside and then they pour in the concrete after the, you know, they pump the water out of this and then they pour in the concrete. And I don't know how they do it. I'm not a bridge builder, but I, I, that's the general concept anyway. But they are making progress. You know, they're already starting to uh, lower that. See, he's lowering that down in there right now. You know, what a job. And he's out there on a that huge crane and he's on a, uh, a barge of some kind. And that equipment is expensive. And you got to know that, you know, to have that guy sitting here in that barge looking thing uh, for several hours a day, now they're moving it around. Uh, fixing to do something. I'll zoom a little bit here so you can get a better look at it. But as far as progress, you know, it's hard for me to say. I mean, they are making progress because uh, they got a lot of equipment here. They got a lot of stuff, a lot of men. And when I say a lot of equipment, if you just look around at the number of pieces of equipment that they've got here, uh, you know, and, and that stuff ain't cheap, you know, and those operators are paid pretty well. So, you know, we're, we're this is a multi-million dollar project for sure. And it'll be a somebody's Christmas present. But anyway, I'm going to try to go across over here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. And we'll go over here. There's also a board over here. When my son told me, it's, I think he called it the political board or something. But anyway, it tells you all about the project. And we'll go there in just a second. But I mean, just look around you at all the stuff, man. I mean, these guys. I mean, there's all kind of equipment and people here, man. You know, they got all kind of pumps and stuff to pump the water out. They got power. This, these things over here are to generate power. And, uh, you know, this is... <laughs> you know, I'm amazed at what engineers can design and what people can put together. You know, I've often heard the story that, you know, they pay the engineers and the architects hundreds of thousand dollars, and then they pay somebody $10 an hour to put it together. A lot of truth in that. But the guys that get the $10 an hour, they're reliable. Here they are by the... I don't know how many people are here today. I'd say probably, I don't know, 50 in that range. Well, let's go up here to the political board and I'll end the video. It's a beautiful day. Here's some more of that tied steel that'll go inside those round steel things that they put in the bottom of the river over here or stick in there some way. They pound them in some way. Beautiful day here in Central Texas. As you can see, the blue sky, it's, what's the temperature, Rusty? Well, it's supposed to be high today, about 65. I'm gonna say it's probably 55 now. We got a little breeze out of the, maybe the north. Let's go over here to this political, this see right here, here's the people. It's called Capital Excavation, Austin and San Antonio. And then here's the stuff on it. Uh, I don't see what, I, I wanted to see if it had to, total cost I guess it does down here uh, oh it shows how much they get an hour uh, asphalt distributor operator gets 1487 it ranges by zone uh, crane operator gets I don't know is that by the hour or it says the wage rates listed are those determined by the Secretary of Labor labor to be the minimum wages paid okay so these guys are probably making more than that Electrician gets 20 bucks an hour. Uh, mechanic, 20 bucks. But these are the, you know, that's the minimum. You know, they're, they're, they're paying more than that. And I don't see anything about the, uh, the price of the, of the deal. No, it says small construction notice, small construction notice. But anyway, uh, I'll walk around here a little bit because I ain't got anything to do. Let y'all see this stuff. But here, we're, see, here's more equipment over here, guys. I mean, a ton of it. You know, right in there, all those guys. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. See, whenever you're working outdoors, and I've done some of it myself, uh, a day like this, not too bad. You know, it's uh, cool, not too not too cold, but cool enough to where you're comfortable. You know, the bugs aren't driving you nuts, and uh, you know, you're not and you don't have sweat uh, dripping in your eyes when you're trying to work. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty neat to have good weather. Uh, what else can I tell you? Private park, no trespassing. This is, as you can see, if I've got the camera right, I still got it zoomed, I need to stop that. This is the intersection of 
Ranch Road 2900. Let me zoom out a little bit here, guys. Ranch Road 2900 and that's going to be right in the sun. You're probably not going to see this. It says Cimarron Trail. So if you want to do it on Google Maps, you'll be able to do it. So, yeah, it's beautiful out there, isn't it? That's the uh, Llano River. Beautiful little river here. And, and the Llano River and the Colorado come together here in Kingsland, Texas to form uh, Lake LBJ. And it just so happened, it was a kind of a fluke. The Colorado River was flooding and the Llano River was flooding at the same time. And they both converged right here in uh, Kingsland, Texas to cause quite a disaster. But so anyway, we'll walk around here. I'll end the video here in just a second. Just curious here. Let me give you a shot here down this way while I end the video. I'll zoom just a bit. Let's see, I need to zoom a little bit. All right, there we go. So that's that's straight down the bridge site there, the construction site right there. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission if you use the link and go buy a product at Amazon. Uh, if you don't want to fool with it, don't. I'm not going to be hurt. Uh, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day, stretch, walk. Take deep breaths, you know, that relieves stress and uh, lowers your blood pressure. What else? Uh, stretch, of course, walk, you know, and take deep breaths. I'm kind of getting screwed, my ending screwed up. But uh, basically, just uh, take care of your health, you know what I mean? So you'll enjoy uh, things a lot better. I'll zoom a little bit and then we'll end this thing. Give you a little better look there. Yeah, it's, this is the construction site and uh, yeah, they're probably going to be finished on time. This is December the 15th. Uh, they're projected to be finished uh, sometime in April, and uh, I'd have to say they're probably going to do it. So anyway, guys, adios. Bye-bye. Let me zoom out again so I don't forget. Adios, guys.